ever since I was a, a young man, I think I was 14 at the time, I got my first horse. I've always been a bit of a cowboy, uh, without cows, of course, just horses. And, um, and, I've, and I've gone on in my life and I've, I've done things like I, I ran a riding stable in Ohio uh, and again up in Alaska and put a lot of people horseback, taught a lot of people how to ride and uh, gave a lot of people great experiences with well-trained horses. And uh, in doing so, you know, you, you get wrapped up in the entire sort of cowboy world and you get to learn about these people called the cowboy poets. And these guys get together and, and have competitions and, and swap and tell lies and tell stories. And one of the uh, most popular of these guys is a veterinarian by the name of Baxter Black. Now, old Baxter Black, uh, he hails out of, oh, I think Arizona, New Mexico, somewhere, Elko. Elko, I think is where he's from. And... Um, Anyhow, he was on the Tonight Show with Johnny Carson, and he uh, he he performed his little ditty that he calls uh, "Vegetables Rights," I think is what it is. Or, um, oh gosh, what was the name of that? The uh, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, vegetarian nightmare. There you go, Baxter Black on the Johnny Carson Show doing vegetarian nightmare. And, you know, for all you guys out there that are vegetarians uh, or fruitarians or what other eating disorder you may have, um, just know that I'm doing my best trying to preserve all the vegetables for you by eating all the beef that's been trying to steal your vegetables. So I, I'm, I'm pretty good at that. that and, and there's piggies, too, keeping them out of the garden so you guys can have your, your tofu. <laughs> Anyhow, here's Baxter Black telling us all about the vegetarian nightmare. I found out the other day that they had done some studies, and it turns out that they found that plants feel pain. Pain? True. No, I didn't know. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> so that inspired this little piece entitled The Vegetarian's Nightmare. Okay. <laughs> Or a dissertation on plants' rights. Broccoli power! <laughs> Ladies and diners, I make you a shameful, degrading confession. A deed of disgrace. In the name of good taste, though I did it, I meant no aggression. I had planted a garden last April. Now, before this gets too far, I will absolutely challenge you not to crack a smile through any of this. I don't think there's a single person on the planet that can get through this without laughing. And this I know different, this isn't a music re review. I'm not doing a music review, I'm doing a review of Baxter Black and his comedy here. So, that, you've been forewarned. Okay, hey, before we go any further, thumbs up, like, subscribe, ring the bell. Thank you very much. Lovingly sang it a ballad. But later in June, beneath the full moon, forgive me, I wanted a salad. <laughs> So I, I slipped out and fondled a carrot, <laughs> caressing its feathery top. With the force of a brute, I tore out the root, and it whimpered and came with a pop. <laughs> and laying my hand on a radish, I jerked, <laughs> and it left a small crater. <laughs> then with the blade of my true value spade, <laughs> I exhumed a slumbering tater. I plucked, I twisted a squash. Tomatoes were wincing in fear. I choked the romaine, it screamed out in pain. Their anguish was filling my ears. I, I finally came to the lettuce as it cringed at the top of the row. Oh. With one wicked slice, I beheaded it twice. As it writhed, I dealt a death blow. I butchered the onions and parsley. So my hoe was all covered with gore. <laughs> I chopped and I whacked without looking back. Then I stealthily slipped in the door. <laughs> my bounty lay naked. <laughs> Dying. 
So I drowned them to snuff out their life. <laughs> I sliced and I peeled as they thrashed and they reeled on the cutting board under my knife. <laughs> I violated tomatoes <laughs> so their innards could never survive. I grated and ground till they made not a sound, and I boiled the tater alive. <laughs> and then I took the small broken pieces I had tortured and killed with my hands and tossed them together, heedless of whether they suffered or made their demands. I ate them. <laughs> Forgive me, I'm sorry. <laughs> But hear me, though I'm a beginner, those plants feel pain. So it's hard to explain to someone who eats them for dinner. I intend to begin a crusade for plants' rights, including chickpeas. <laughs> and the ACLU will be helping me, too. In the meantime, please pass the blue cheese. <laughs> That's Mark. That's good. Thank you, Pastor. All right, Baxter Black. Yeah, I'm sorry, kids. I am I got a bit of a cold, so pardon me for uh, my hacking here and, and doing all this, but I mean, I'm messing all up. There we go. Now you got me. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed that. Baxter Black, he has a whole bunch of different uh, cowboy poetry uh, that he does and some songs along with some other stars. Look him up. Google him, Baxter Black. Uh, a lot of good material can be found there. In fact, I'm going to be doing a review of some of their songs here in the near future. But I just thought you guys might, might appreciate a little comedy here on on this uh, on this fine Sunday morning. So, guys, be good. Be careful. Take good care of one another. I'll have more for you here in the near future. Thanks.